everyone and welcome back to a happy chats video the piggy tails are back um yeah i got some stuff off the balm that i recently just hauled i'll link that down below if you haven't seen it yet so i just want to play around with some stuff that i got so let's just get into it i have no idea what i'm going to do by the way so i'm just gonna wing it i think i always wing these happy chat videos but anyway i'm gonna start off with my professional by the balm it looks like this i'm just gonna use a little bit of this just where my pores are most prominent like i always do so in this midsection and then on my forehead and my chin and then across my nose. And then I just distribute the rest across my face. I love these piggy tails guys, like look at them. Foundation, I don't know what I want to use. I'm debating between the Bourjois Healthy Mix and the MAC um, Studio Fix. I think I'm going to use Studio Fix today. Um, but yeah, I'm putting this over my face. The only thing I hate about this product is the smell. It honestly smells like paint. See how much difference one one layer makes of Studio Fix? I love it. Love it, love it. I'm gonna use my Benefit Erase Paste. This is in the shade Fair. I actually don't know why on camera I look so dark. Like, I'm actually really, really pale in real life. Like, so pale, like, really, really pale. Oh, and by the way, my MAC foundation was in the shade NC15, if I didn't say that. I'm unsure if I like Benefit Erase Paste anymore. I remember I used to love it, but I haven't used it in a little while. Kind of just been caught up with my cover effects. So it's nice to be using something different. Do you guys like when I mix up the products or would you rather me stick to like, this is my favorite, I'm gonna continue to use it. What would you rather? Because personally, I like mixing it up. I'm not going to powder first. Oopsie. Okay, so I went to Target like this morning. It's currently like almost 12 o'clock, it's 11.30. And I was looking at the makeup stuff and I don't know if you can see that, but like fully dried up and like crusty um, eyeshadow base. Like I'm not blaming the brand, the store shouldn't have put it on the shelf. So yeah, shame on you Target. First like MAC stuff and then this, naughty. I'm using my Illamasqua Brow Cakes in Motto and Thunder. Just mixing them together. Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade Barely Branded. I'm just gonna take that on my finger and I'm just gonna put that on my eyelid. I really like these. I don't really use this shade that often, I don't know why because I'm just so obsessed with the inked in pink but today I thought I'll do a little bit of a change taking our Balm Voyage palette by the Balm I'm just going to be taking the shade C3 which is this one here and I'm just going to be putting that through my crease I actually kind of wish there was a lighter transition color but whatever it's all good I haven't even like swatched these yet so it's oh pigment this is just going through my crease I'm just using a fluffy brush because I don't want it to be too dark Actually, I like this color, I take it back. I'm sure that if you used a darker brush, it would come on more concentrated, I mean, a more compact brush, I should say. Now I'm just gonna take this flat shadow brush and I'm going to go into that mint green color right there and I'm gonna put that on my eye. I'm gonna put that on my inner corner. Wait, no, inner third. Oh, it's not as pigmented as I thought it would be. Oh wait, no, I can build it up. I can build it up, it's still good. Can you guys see that mint green? Maybe I should zoom you in, hold on. Hello, up close and personal now. Um, so on the other side. Okay, that shade wasn't as pigmented as what I thought it would be, but I did build it up and it was okay after that. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this B4 shade, this shade here, and I'm just gonna put that on just to where that mint green stopped. And I just wanna light wash of color with this. I don't want it to be too dark. So that's why I'm only just using the tiniest bit of product. Now to be slightly adventurous, I'm going to be taking this teal shade, which is called C2, which is this one right there. And I'm just going to put that on my outer V with a little pencil brush, just to darken it a little bit, just ever so slightly. It doesn't do it too much. Okay. So going in with this B2 shade again, that mint color, I'm just going to apply that to the first half of my lip. Well, so not. I'm just gonna grab my color and then I'm just going to apply it looking straight into a mirror. I might just go in with that mint color on my finger and I'm just gonna put that on my lid. Using your fingers does pack on a bit more color. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm going to take the shade B4, which is this one here, and I'm just going to run that along the rest of my eye. So wherever, wherever, <laughs> wherever my mint green eyeshadow didn't go, and just lightly, lightly, lightly. Now I'm just gonna go in with that teal shade again, this C2 shade, and on the same brush, I'm just gonna put that on my outermost part. 
So I am going to line my upper lash line. I'm just going to use this shade, which is A4. And it's just a black with a little bit of sparkles in it on an angled eyeliner brush. Again, tap me off the excess. And I'm just going to lightly trace my upper lash line. I'm not doing a wing or anything. I'm just basically kind of shaping the eye, I guess. Does that even make any sense? Oh, God. Yeah. I'm just going to apply some mascara real quickly. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. I just bought this eyelash curler. It's the Shu Umra, if that's how you pronounce it. And pronounce it. And it's just like this weird little gadget thing. So let's see how it goes. Oh my god, this is scary. Oh my god, this is going to take ever. That was scary. Okay, I don't like this. <laughs> okay, mascara time. I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Lash Architect 4D. And if that's not enough volume, then I'm going to go in with my Tarte Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. So within that Balm Boyage palette, there is a, a section of three cream products. I've never used a cream blush before, so I'm not too sure how it's going to go down. I'm not even too sure how to apply them. So I might just do it on camera. I don't know. I might use this Captain shade on my lips. It's definitely showing up a lot more pigmented on camera than what it does in real life. It's honestly a really, really sheer wash of color. I might put a nude over the top. Okay, what else besides Flesh Pot by MAC? My go-to nude. I like that colour. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. Packaging looks like this. Um, people ask me my opinions on this. I have it in the shade Eternal Light. And to be honest, I have no idea what the rave is about them. Um, I haven't really photographed with them, so I can't really say. But overall, this shade just feels like a translucent powder, to be honest. Like, this colour has zero coverage. Maybe like 2%. But like, pretty much zero coverage. And the lighting completely changed. Sorry about that. I'm just going to dust this across my forehead as well. Wherever I want to look eternal. Seriously, the camera is not doing this eye makeup justice. I really, really like it. I'm just going to go in with my cream pigment in the shade Hollow. Looks like this. It's by Ilamasca. And I'm just going to use this on a synthetic Sedona Lace EB13 brush. I'm just going to swirl my brush in there a little bit, tap off some excess onto the back of my hand, and then I'm just going to contour with it. Yay! Okay, so I just applied that cream pigment. I'm still not too sure what I think about it, to be honest, but whatever. Now, I did get a new bronzer by The Balm, the, shape, the Bahama Mama bronzer, so I'm going to try and contour with it. Actually, I'm going to apply powder first because I remember someone saying that it was a hot mess unless you put powder underneath it. So I'm going to use my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil just over the rest of my face. I wouldn't recommend this powder if you were going to take photos and whatnot. Only because it really does flash back. It is a really, really nice powder, don't get me wrong. But if you're going to be taking flash photos, I wouldn't recommend it. Because, yeah, I didn't know and I put my pressed version on. And I looked at the photos like the day after and I was like, oh my god. So if you can hear planes flying above my house. Ooh, I love this powder. Okay, so now that I have a powder underneath, I'm just going to grab my contour brush. This one's by Sedona Lace, the FB05. Not a big fan of Sedona Lace. I think if you watched my first ever Happy Chats, I'll link it down below. I've said on various occasions that I don't like them. But I'm just going to tap once into it and then tap it off onto my hand because I am worried it's going to be very very dark yep so glad I did I'm liking the shade though it's really really nice and I'm just going to keep it on the backs of my cheeks and then just run a tiny bit forward and it's going to be my contour this isn't going to be my um, bronzer shade just because I think it's a little bit too brown okay I'm just going to use that as a bronzer whatever I really like the colour, at least in the viewfinder and my mirror. I wonder what it's going to look like in the real world, but so far I really do like it. Obviously, this is just first impressions, by the way. I've never used this product before. I very rarely wear blush, so this is a very rare moment for me. I'm debating between these two blushes, and I'm not too sure what I want to go with. This colour goes with the lips, I think. So I'm going to go with that. That's Frat Boy by The Balm. I like it. Now because that blush had no shimmer, 
I'm going to use blur, um, a highlighter. This one is Cindy Luminizer by The Balm. I haven't used this yet. I'm kind of worried that it's going to be too dark. Let me just swatch it. Oh, it's really, really pretty. Oh, it's really pink. It's that there. I'm not too sure if I can actually use that as a highlighter. Uh, I'm really, really worried about this one, actually. Okay. Really, really pigmented. Okay. It's not that bad. If you just do like a light, light dusting, it kind of just blends in with the blush. I don't know if that highlighter is my cup of tea, but whatever, it's on now. I think just to add a little bit of extra highlight, I'm just going to go in with my Stila Kitten highlighter, like this. And I'm just going to take that on my Sedona Lace blush brush. And I'm just going to apply it to the backs of my cheekbones just to give myself a little bit more glow. But I'm just mixing both the shades. Okay, I think I'm done. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I really love the eye palette. I really love this eye look in general. And I really, really like the bronzer. Blush, I really like as well. I think, I really like this color. It's really pretty. I really like it. Eyeliner, I'm a little, a little bit on the fence. I do think I need to use it a few more times to see if I like it. Okay guys, so that's the end of my Happy Chats video. What do you guys think of the finished look? I personally really, really like it. I love the blush. I love the lip color. I love the eyes. I love it all. I think it's just so beautiful. So yeah, I definitely am really, really happy with it. Tell me what you guys think and don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. So yeah, without rambling for too much longer, I'll see you next time. Bye.